Welcome everyone to this interesting question where given to us are four squares as shown in the figure. Also given is the area of this purple square is 4 cm square. Exciting part is with this limited data we have to find area of this green square. We'll solve the same question in two ways. Our first approach will be formal approach using mathematical formulas and second approach will be logical approach solving the same question without any formula. Let's check this simple and elegant solution. Let's start with this blue square. In this AB is the diagonal and AC is the side length. And in a square we know that the angle between the side and diagonal is 45 degrees. Now same logic for this brown square. We know that AB is the side length. And if we draw a line segment at 45 degree angle, then it will form the diagonal and thus this AC when extended will pass through point D. And this angle here, this angle will be again same 45 degrees. Let's join FE, the diagonal of this green square whose area we have to find. Now for this triangle FED, let's draw a circumcircle circumscribing this triangle here. Now I am interested to find the center of this red circle which we have drawn around the triangle F, E and D. We know that the center lies in the perpendicular bisector of the chord. So if we will take F, E as the chord then the perpendicular bisector will pass through the center. So we know that the center of this red circle lies somewhere on this blue line. Also FE as a chord is substanding 45 degree angle at the circumference. So it will substand an angle of 90 degree at the center. So now we have to find a point on this blue line where FE chord is substanding 90 degree angle and that point is point G and thus G is the center of this red circle. Now as G is the center so FG and EG are the radius and also GD is also the radius. Now for this purple square area is 4 cm square so side length that will be 2 cm and by formula the diagonal length that will be 2 root 2 cm. <coughs> As GD is the radius and GE is also the radius so the side length of this square that is FG or GE is 2 root 2 cm. And the area of this green square, that area is side length square and which is squaring this will get as 8 cm square. And that's our answer. Let's discuss the second approach, that's the logical approach. So in our logical approach, we'll exploit the fact that very limited data is provided to us. So this brown square is there. With respect to that, this blue square, there is no other option but it has to be drawn with side as the diagonal. How about this green square and purple square? Limitation is for this green square, the vertex should lie on the side length of this blue square. And for this purple square, the vertex should be shared with the green square. So how about if we will move this point A, the vertex of green square along this side length A. So the diagram or the original conditions of the question will remain same and thus our answer should remain same. Let's move this point A vertically up along this side length of blue square. Now this figure still meets all the original conditions of the original question and thus the area of green square shall remain same if purple square area is 4 cm square. And to calculate this area of green square, here the side length of purple square that's 2 cm and the diagonal length that is 2 root 2 cm. And if you look carefully, in this figure O is the center of the square and thus AO length will be same as 2 root 2 cm. And area of this green square that will be square of 2 root 2 or 8 cm square and that's our answer. But how about if we'll move this point A to the other direction. So let's first bring the original figure back. But how about instead of moving this point A upward, 
if we'll move this point A downward and align it with point O. Now the magic is this figure still meets all the conditions of the original question that is the vertex of green square lies on the side length of blue square and the vertex of green and purple square they are sharing a common vertex here. So if area of this purple square is 4 cm square then the area of green square shall remain same and here the side length of purple square that's 2 cm and BC is the diagonal it will be 2 root 2 cm as O is the center and thus this pink line will divide it in two equal halves and we can say DC and CB will be equal in length so DC length will be 2 root 2 cm and area of this green square that will be square of 2 root 2 or 8 cm square and that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.